go. Welcome back, boys and girls. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing so far? Woo! Yes. Welcome to the adventures of your walk up. Who? Your walk up. Woo -woo! Welcome. <laughs> I am Miss V, your local site coordinator from the Boys and Girls Club of Harbor City. And let's give it up for a Mr. Tony in the back. Woo How's it going, guys? Woo! Yes. Today, do you guys notice something different? Today's theme is going to be STEM. And related to that, we're going to be reading one of New York's bestseller. What is it? We don't eat our classmates. By who? Ryan T. Hegan. So let's get to it, boys and girls. Brooklyn's over here. Hey, Brooklyn. Hey, let's get started. Before I do, you want to know what kind of dog does a scientist have? A lab. Oh, you get it? A <laughs> lab. Okay, we don't eat our classmates. Bye. Ryan T. Higgins. Ooh. Did you guys see it? Look at all these dinosaurs. We don't eat our classmates. Hey, kids. You will never be eaten by a T-Rex. They are extinct. I promise. That's true. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. Ooh. Do you guys think what this is going to be about? Do you guys want to guess? Oh, look at the dinosaur, Penelope. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Oh, so she's getting ready for school. Gonna be her first day of school. Does that bring any memories, boys and girls? All the butterflies you get in your stomach. Ugh, first days of school. Could be good, could be bad. Depends how you look at it. Penelope's mom brought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Oh, she looks happy. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Oh, all right, how many out there like ponies? Unicorns? Yes, Victoria, I heard you. I know you love unicorns. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. Ah, and one apple juice. Oh my goodness, imagine eating 300 sandwiches. Finally, the big day came. She's going to school, boys and girls. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were, what do you think? Do you guys think it's gonna be elephants? Children! Oh my God, look at all the boys and girls! And the cubbies? The teacher. So she ate them because children are delicious. Oh no! Penelope Rex said Mrs. Noodle Man. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. Oh man, look, you can see the shoe. determined to have a good first day. Oh, look at all that sl saliva, all the goo. Oh, look at all that. Imagine being filled with saliva all over you. And that's at school. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Do you guys miss school? Yeah. 
Who's your, what's your favorite subject at school? Art, yes. What else? Math. Oh, I love math. Guess what else I love? I love STEM. And today we're gonna do some STEM activities. Do you have a favorite teacher? Let us know. My favorite teacher was Mr. Lazdow. Woo! If you guys go to Normont Elementary, you know who he is. Let's keep going. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. Oh, look, she's had, she has the same hat I do. Ooh, that's awesome. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. Oh, look at all those sandwiches. You can't sit here. She's trying, boys and girls. Do you guys ever offer your seat when it comes to lunchtime? Or supper time when you're at the Boys and Girls Club? That's very kind. Thank you. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. Oh, she's sad. Oh, do you guys have a big circle rug in your classroom? Oh. It was lonely. Oh, she's sad. Everybody's playing. That must be recess time. Does anybody else love recess? Yes, yes. That's where you get a little bit of freedom. Woo, everybody loves freedom. When she got home, her dad asked about her first day of school. I didn't make any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Oh, that, ha that has ever happened to you guys? Any of that? Or at the club? Yeah. And what happens? How do you guys, how do you think that makes you guys feel? Hmm? Yeah, sad, lonely, but we encourage you guys to make new friends and everybody at their club side is very friendly. If I don't say so myself, you guys are awesome. Please try to make people happy and invite them, you know, friends for a day. Even especially those new kids that we get. Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bit. Ooh, do you think that that has to do with her not making friends? Yes. Oh. I skipped this page, hold on. Oh, there it goes. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. Yup. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. Ooh, even her bed is full of ponies. Ooh. The next day, Penelope tried really hard. But poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. There's that shoe again. I don't think she likes shoes. Mrs. Noodleman. Penelope ate William Omoto again. Ooh. And they were all afraid of her. Aw, that's sad. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. <gasps> no relations to our Walter. Uh uh. <laughs> this isn't a book. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Ooh, what is she doing? She's sticking that finger in her, in his fishbowl. Never do that, cause what do you think is gonna happen? Chomp! 
what's our questions during the whole process and of course our conclusion what actually ended up happening okay so let's get started i have eyewear if you have some at home please use i will be using some gloves too once we do the actual experiment so let's get started so first i'm gonna pull out the three cups um you can do two you can do one it is entirely up to you we are going to be dropping some food coloring in them um, I like to do a little squirt in there, but you can do two drops if you like. So that was pink. This is purple. And of course, some... Ah, we don't have green. Yes, we do have some green. Oh, oh, I ran out of green. It's okay. And remember with science, we don't fail all the time. We always want to experiment, experiment. It's okay if you fail a couple times. It's okay. You're probably going to fail more than two times for sure because it's experimenting. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my tablespoon one. Okay, so we are going to be pouring two tablespoons. So that means I want two of these in each cup. That's two, okay? Make sure you get two in each cup, okay? And then we are gonna need some water. Water. No, this is vinegar, okay? If you guys don't know, vinegar stinks. So if you smell it, you're not using water, you're using vinegar. And then, so two tablespoons, and then one tablespoon of water, okay? And if you guys are too small to do this, please get an adult to be with you at all times, okay? Even if it's watching over you and you think you're big, that's okay, but we, you always want to be safe. Bring an adult with you. Then you're going to mix, mix it, mix it, mix it, because you want to get that color. So you see, this is turning out to be blue. And then you can use a spoon or like, I just had these coffee stirs, so that's what I used, okay? But you can use a spoon if you want, a fork, anything to stir with, okay? And you're just gonna keep mixing until you get the colors that you want. And you want a consistency, like you want it to be thick, like Play-Doh, most likely. So if it's a little watery, if your solution here is watery, it's okay. You, what do you think you're gonna add? Do you add water or do you add more baking soda to it? Baking soda, yes, because we want a thick mixture. We don't want a watery substance, okay? What do we call a snake that is 3.24 feet long? A python. Woo! Did you guys get that? Get it? So let's get started. So once you have your consistency, remember I, you want it to be thick, like Play-Doh. So no running, Um. okay? So now we get our egg. You could get a plastic egg. Oh, but before that, we want to make our string. So you are going to get some scissors and cut the string. It could be long, it could be short. As long as it comes out looking like this. See? So you cut the string and you make a knot. Okay, make the knot, and then you're gonna put the other end, the string, through the little circles that are top. Then you close it. So it should come out. <laughs> like, give it a minute, give it a minute, like this. See? And then this is where the gloves come on because now you're gonna be touching all the stuff. Okay, if you have gloves on, you try this, it's going to be a little tough. So once you're ready, you have your mixtures ready, you have the colors that you want, you can mix colors. 
Um, if you like as well, uh, it all depends on what food coloring you have. And then you put on your gloves, my safety eyewear, and then you start decorating your egg with it. So this is a fun part. This is where you actually get messy. And then you go ahead and grab it. You wanna stick it all over the egg. Stick it all over. You can mix and match. You can make whatever color you like. So mine is blue and purple. Just decorate it. You want a thick substance around it. So if you want to add two layers, three layers, go ahead. The thicker, the better. I believe that is my hypothesis that uh, if you use thicker, it would have a more fizzy experience at the end. Okay, so you want to cover it all. Go ahead, mix and match. Then you are going to put these in the freezer. So once it's all covered, it's going to look like something like this. See this? It's all covered. But you put this. So once you cover it all, you're going to put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. 30 minutes if you want to be precise about it. Uh, but 20 minutes keeps it all uh stay down it stays down it's frozen it's a little there so 30 minutes ideally but 20 minutes i've noticed it happens to it gets hardened so it looks like this okay and i made a couple so it's not always perfect you see when i took it out i missed this spot it's okay we just want a few for the experiments i made a green one purple blue okay put them aside now we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna go and do the experiment. So then you want something like this. If you are doing it inside, if you're doing it outside, then you don't need this, it's okay. Uh, so for those that are living in most likely like an apartment like me, I don't have a place to go outside. So something like this comes in handy. Now you get your other jar. I'm gonna put it in the middle of this, okay? Now, what do we need? We are gonna get our vinegar. Here it is. And we only need, wait, I think this is water. This was our vinegar. We're gonna need a cup, a cup, if not eight ounces of vinegar. Ooh. This vinegar, it stinks, it stinks. And you pour it inside your jar like this. Oh, you guys ready to see what's gonna happen? <gasps> oh, what do you guys wanna do first? Green, blue or purple? I'm going with green. Let's see, let's see. And then you're just gonna drop it in there. And, oh, look at it, look at it, Papa. Oh, ooh, look at it, oh, yes. That looks so cool! Ah! Look at it! It cleaned it up! So the reaction was with the baking soda and the vinegar! Ooh, made it all fuzzy! <gasps> Let me give it another shot. We could need more vinegar! And then I'll do the one with, if you did use real egg, there's a cool thing that happens if you use a real egg. I'm gonna show you right now. So we'll put that aside. Let's do another one. We're gonna do the real egg one if you use real eggs. Remember one cup, not eight ounces. Goes in here. Let's do the real egg. This one's really cool if you could use real eggs. Up, oh, up, oh, ah! Hold on, I put it wrong. Woo! See? Ah! Ooh! It's all fuzzy, all bubbly. Ah! It looks like. Okay, well, let's see if I can take it out. Should use a darker color. Remember, you're always gonna mess up a couple ones, but it kind of dyes your egg. See, this one I use purple and blue. Ah! 
There you have it, boys and girls. One more. Let's do one more just because I'm excited. I can do another one. One last one for you guys. Eight ounces. And remember, you always want to have an adult with you to help you with these, especially with vinegar. It could sting a little. Right, That's why we have gloves. There we go. One more. One more. We'll do. We'll do purple. Purple. There you go again. One more. Let's see what happens. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, ooh. I use more baking soda in this one. See? So you guys can experiment. This is neat. Ah, look at it. It's all clean. It's not fun. I hope you guys enjoyed us this week. A uh, big shout out to Eddie. He's so cool if you haven't seen him. His breathing techniques really help. Take advantage of it. And if you like us, please thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget that. I hope you guys enjoyed our STEM activity. Uh, don't forget to clean up. Help the adults in the house clean up because this is a little messy, okay? You remember us, the BGCLA Harbor programs on YouTube, virtual programming. Thank you. Hope you have a great day. Bye.